so this guy actually asked a very sincere question what is the difference between an order block and a change of character so let's start by defining what is an order block by the way these words were carved from the smart money concept and it is an attempt to define how the institutions do things the word block simply means a very huge and bulky transaction these are terms that are common in the finance industry i have a definition of that right here from nasdaq.com it's called block trade a large trading order defined on the new york stock exchange as an order that consists of 10,000 shares of a given stock at a given market value of two million dollars so the word order block simply means a bulk order or a large order so these are terms that are common between the institutions and we retail traders cannot see that we can only see it on a chart that is why we have a representation of our chart in form of a candlestick bar chart and a line chart so when you have a market that acts in an uptrend we want to see an uptrend defined in this manner a series of higher highs and higher lows okay now just get to understand this so the way this moves is because there is an influx of money and there is large money that is pumping this market in the upside that is in the buy direction okay you can see it going in an uptrend so for this market to keep going there must be a participation of these institutions with large funds with large money to keep this market going in the up direction and these institutions always want to take advantage of a low price to buy at some certain level before going and you can see their footprints around these areas at the bottom of a trend when we have a short-term retracement, they want to buy at a lower price, they want to go. So we can only see that in the form of a candle. So the last red candle that mostly prints in a downtrend is usually our block trade or what we call an order block. So this place serves as our order block because we cannot see it. We can only see the interpretation on our chart. Okay, so these are the places we can literally see order blocks where the institutions took their buy. So in an uptrend, these kind of orders are serving as our support level, mostly around a support level. And in a downtrend, they form around a resistance level level so these are places where we can see other block but where we say to have a change of character by the way change of character is just a shift in market direction so when we see this we expect that when price comes back to this place where there was a large order we expect that price should push up again because these are places where the institutions are putting their large funds to push the market but every time we see failure from this large bulk trade that happened before failure to push the market up we just see something like this market decides to just trade through it and push downward this is where we say we have a change of character it is simply just a shift in market we took out the last low that was formed and then we saw market changing direction this time around a downtrend so when we see this happen at this point this is where we say a change of character happen or a shift in market direction from an uptrend to a downtrend that is a simple explanation i can give you about a change of character and an order block okay an order block simply means large transaction that happens and we cannot see them literally we can only interpret them on our chart and in an uptrend you will see the last down candle that is the red candle if you're using red as your bearish candle and green as your bullish candle the last red candle that prints in the retracement of that movement okay so let me go to my chart and show you that briefly so i have something like this right here this is an uptrend that starts from here to this level and you can see from this movement if i make it a bit larger look at what is happening as price keeps pushing it's just keep pushing keep pushing the retracements that are coming look at them look at them from here this is an order block this one let me show you that this one this is your order block because it was the red candle the last red candle that printed and price came to this area and pushed up again you can see them most of the time this is an order block okay this is an order block if price will come here we expect to see that price gets rejected at this point this last red candle it was where the institutions placed a very bulk order okay I'm just trying to be simple in this explanation this is an example of an order block okay and this one to be precise this one is the order block okay because this one has been mitigated you can see this one again this is an order block okay and this one you can also call this one an order block yes this one an order block too because price came back and tested from this level push up again so this is a change of character look at what i'm saying this last red candle is an order block this last red candle is an order block this last red candle but it never really stopped price from moving okay 
if i delete this it never really stopped price from here and push up again price took it out from here boom we had a change of character that is shifted market direction after this the last low that was taken out look at it the last low that was created was completely violated and taken out we don't want to see price taking the last low that was formed from there we have a change of character and we had a downtrend so this is simply how a change of character comes into your trading experience you can see this a lot of the time on your chart you want to learn more of this make sure you go to my youtube channel the link is in the bio look at what is happening here we have an uptrend short-term uptrend and then boom we had a change of character at this point this is where the change of character happened the last low and then this is the last low that was from boom we had a price push down to that area okay and then this is an order block this one this whole huge candle is your order block and this one too is your order block you can see it reacting around this place this is an order block this is an order block this huge candle so we can use this huge candle the middle of this huge candle is called the main threshold so we can take trade from the middle of that this is just an explanation i'm not showing you how to take trades with order block you want to learn how to take trades with order block you can go to my youtube channel you see this movement movement the last low that was formed here was violated and we had a shift in market direction a short term downtrend that is a change of character and you can see this is an order block this is an order block look at this and you can see this kind of movements this is an order block look at this this is an order block and look at this this is a change of character this is a change of character because we saw move down move down and then we took out this low we had a change of character so this is the simple definition of the difference between a change of character and order block okay